Breaking overnight, more civil unrest in Minnesota. The death of an unarmed 20-year-old black man near Minneapolis on Sunday set off yet another way for protest in that area. Meantime, the chief of police says the officer who shot and killed Dante Wright mistakenly grabbed her gun instead of her taser. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne has been tracking the latest developments with this story. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Wendell. You know, the entire Twin Cities metro area remains under a curfew until 6 a.m. Central Time, which is a little less than 30 minutes from now. Last night, police actually arrested 40 people and some officers were injured by demonstrators throwing debris. Protesters and police faced off for a second night in Brooklyn Center. Are y'all gonna kill me too? Tear gas was fired as people stayed out past the 7 p.m. curfew calling for justice after the death of Dante Wright. The 20-year-old was killed during a traffic stop on Sunday. Body camera footage shows officers attempting to handcuff Wright when he got back in his car. It is my belief that the officer had the intention to deploy their taser, but instead shot Mr. Wright with a single bullet. Officer Kim Potter, a 26-year veteran of the force, fired the deadly shot. She has been placed on leave pending an investigation. My heart is literally broken into a thousand pieces. Katie Wright is Dante's mother. He was my life, he was my son, and I can never get that back because of a mistake. China Whitaker is the mother of Wright's one and a half year old son, Dante Jr. That's not fair that his son um, can't have his dad in his life. Wright's death comes less than 11 months after George Floyd's, which sparked days of violent protests in the Minneapolis area. Second time we had windows broken. Cortland Steel's business was one of several in the area that was vandalized during protests. I really do believe the community is hurting whatever. I mean, it, it, some changes need to happen. And President Joe Biden, along with Dante Wright's family members, have urged protesters to remain peaceful even as they continue to raise their voices. Live in the newsroom this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.